myself and the District 63 TLC program and the Boy Scouts, we coordinated a tile art, a community tile art project. Um, we had about 200 kids submit artwork and I picked what I thought was the best 100, which is what we're going to see in just a couple of minutes. So um, I wanted to recognize some of the elected officials and community leaders that were able to make it today. Um, we have Illinois State Senator uh, John Mulrow that made it. Um, so thank you. Niles Trustee Rosemary Palicki. Niles Trustee John Jenkins. Niles Park District Commissioner Chris Zielinski. Also, Niles Police Chief Dennis McInerney. And I'm trying to see who else. <laughs> this other guy over here that I don't really know who he is. But again, thank you to all of you for coming out, and I really appreciate it. Um, the Tile Art Project has come out of the Lights on After School project that we did last year in October to celebrate the importance of after school programming for all children. Um, the Niles Teen Center, the District 63 TLC program all believe that after school programming is of dire importance to our children. Whether it's teen centers, whether it's after school, whether it's Boy Scouts, Cub Scouts, Taekwondo, dance, Anything like that is really important for kids to be involved with something after school. So with that, if I could ask uh, Senator Mulroney to come up for a couple of comments. And then when we're all done with this, then we'll do a quick unveiling, and then we can have the kids come up and take some pictures. Okay? So Senator Mulroney. Good morning, everyone. My name is John Mulroy, I'm the State Senator of the 10th District. It's basically the northwest side of Chicago and surrounding municipalities. Uh, I just wanted to thank Mark for having me today, and I can't tell you how important after school activities are. I grew up with four brothers and we were five years apart, and it just provides an outlet for kids to be in a safe environment and actually to do constructive things because if you're not doing constructive things and you're out on the street, bad things happen and our police departments probably really appreciate this as well because it uh, provides you know, an outlet for the kids to, to be in a safe place and doing good things rather than, than the other alternative. So I'm just, I just want to say, tell Mark again, thank you. This is a great thing for the community and makes it stronger and all these little guys out here, one day you're gonna grow up to be adults and if, as long as you're in the after school activities, you'll be a productive citizen and not to get in trouble, so keep going. Thank you very much. And if you didn't know, the funding for this project was funded through the Niles Optimist Club. Um, they donated about two, uh, $725 in the memory of Harry Chino, who was a longtime member. So if I could have John Jackett come up for a minute, and then I think he's going to introduce some of the family members as well. Thank you, Mark. Thank you so much, everyone. First of all, I'd like to recognize some of our club members. Uh, Norm Johnson's here. We have Rich Mangle, our new member, uh, Mike Valley, Dean Strzelecki. Okay, did I miss anyone? I guess not. That's good. Um, this was actually a no-brainer to donate uh, to this project because Harry, Harry was a longtime member, and he really, truly, um, his heart was in projects like this. Whenever there was some type of donation that needed to be made, Harry was always the first to make the motion, and he was all about the kids in the community. Um, after school programs, when I was in uh, the Niles Park District, Harry was one of my oldest gym rats, I guess you could call him, and he was always here with his family and his, and his boys, and he was always supporting Park District activities after school, whether it be coaching the Niles Baseball League, St. John Greenwald, or Niles Park District activities. So Harry was really, really, truly what Niles is all about. And he's, um, he's been missed. I miss him dearly. Um, but this is the least we could do for the family. I'm going like, to uh, recognize his wife, Sharon, here with us today. And I'm sorry, thank you for having me. Here's Kobe. Uh, so, I'd like to uh, thank everybody for coming out today. Um, we definitely like to thank the Niles Teen Center, uh, the Village, and the Optimist Club for honoring my father in this way. Um, as uh, Mr. Jacket said, he was uh, he loved the village. He loved um, you know, loved everything about Niles. This was his home for 
over 20 years, and uh, this is a great honor. Um, so thank you very much. We appreciate it. If I could get Senator Mulrow, the family, the Chino family, will come up here, will unveil, and then I'll ask the kids to come up for some pictures. So whoever wants to come up, Senator Mulrow from the Chino family, Nas Octos Club. Can actually download it to your PC. Yeah, not a problem. 